and gentlemen, the show is about to begin. Up first, yours truly, my name is Jacob Blazer. All right. Thank you, DJ. All right. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you all for coming out. Here at the Boathouse in Lathrop, beautiful evening. You don't have to chew the air quite as hard tonight as you did last night, so that's kind of nice. My name's Jacob Blazer and opened up the show this evening. Your host tonight, his name will be Jimmy Manese. He's going to come up next and he's going to talk to you guys about what we're doing tonight. But we're basically here to make you guys laugh, so I'm going to attempt to do that tonight. So yeah, like everybody else here, I've been locked up for a while now. Do my best to try and stay creative, you know what I mean? I haven't been able to do this for months. So uh, basically what I've been doing, I've been writing a lot of short fiction these days. Uh, mainly uh, dating profiles, but I suppose you got to start somewhere, right? The upside is uh, hiking on my dating profile is actually true now, you know what I mean? So that's, uh, that's kind of nice, you know? I might actually end up healthy one day, who knows? Yeah, I've been home a lot lately. Um, been trying to date, like I said. Uh, my dating life hasn't changed much. Still a big zero. Yeah. I was hoping people desperate for human contact would improve my odds, but no. Not at all. Um, but I did come to one conclusion. I'm no longer doing dick pics. I realized... No longer doing dick pics. I'm working with watercolors, oils these days. I'm new mediums, you know what I mean? Yeah. My next project, I'm working on a, a dick short film. Yeah. You know, because that's what ladies want, right? A story, right? Yeah. So, I mean, uh, next week I'm going to drop the trailer, like a little dick short trailer, you know what I mean? Real short trailer. Um, I'm hoping to do a trilogy, bring the boys in later, you know, make it a thing. I'm hoping. I'm desperate. I'm locked up, you know what I'm saying? Been watching a lot of TV lately. Uh, I was watching this commercial and it hit me. I'm getting old. I'm getting old. I know it. I was watching this Victoria's Secret commercial. Maybe you guys have seen it. It's teenage girls jumping on the bed in lingerie. They're having a pillow fight. Feathers everywhere. I know I'm getting old because my first thought is, what a fucking mess. I'm going to go in there like, ladies, you're cleaning this up and it's lights out. Get off the fucking bed. Shitty sleepover is what it is. Selling lingerie my ass. Yeah, I'm getting older. It's making me cranky. Yeah, I got kids. Uh, I don't know. It's rough these days. I, I've been spending a lot of time with my son. He's driving me a little crazy. It's got to the point where I don't want to ask him a question. I don't want him to ask me a question. Because typically when he asks me a question, a normal person, when they say, hey, guess what? You're like, what? And they tell you the answer. Not my son. It's like, guess what? I'm like, what? He's like, no. Guess. I'm like, why don't you pretend we're adults and you just fucking tell me? How about that? My son's like 20. He's not like five years old, guys. Just to, just to let you know, he's a fucking adult. He can't speak like an adult, you know? And then I don't want to ask him a question. Like, he had a cut on his arm the other day. I'm like, what happened to your arm? He's like, this is how it starts. He's like, remember three years ago when I started college? I met this kid. We didn't like each other. And then we had to do that project together. And then we got, became friends. And we had a big fight. And like, 15 minutes later... I'm like, oh, your friend scratched your arm? That was the answer to the question I asked you 15 minutes ago. On the upside, I'm feeling immortal because the conversations last a fucking eternity. we live forever. Just keep talking to that kid. But I tell you, it's rough being a parent. There's some things they don't tell you. It's not in the baby books. For instance, nobody told me, my, my daughter, my little angel, one day she'd grow up and take it from some guy I can't fucking stand. You kid yourself all you want, she's gonna suck a dick. Yes. Unless she's a lesbian, she could be a cunning linguist. Yes. But I'm such a supportive dad that even if she was a porn star, I'd be like, look at the way she handles that dick, though. That's my baby girl. Just like her mom. She's not a porn star, guys. Strictly amateur at this point, you know, hashtag goals. It's 2020, guys. Okay, I'm trying to keep an open mind. No, it's, it's not easy. 
Uh, you know, and like I said, I've been watching a lot of TV. I've, like these, I've been seeing a lot of fast food commercials. And fast food reminds me of anal sex. I gotta be honest with you guys. Stay with me. I know. Like you see that, that commercial for the Jack in the Box triple bacon heart attack burger. You're like, that looks good. I want to try that. You see porn anal. You're like, that looks good. I want to try that. But then when you get it, you're like, this is not what I ordered. You're like, is this the number two? Like, you go for it, even if it's a little messy because it's there, you know? But it's always followed by a little bit of regret, a little bit of disgust. Somebody's not shitting right the next day. Yeah. For me, Jack in the Box, the jalapeno poppers, man. I am shitting firecrackers in the morning. I save that cool ranch for my hidden valley is what I'm talking about, guys. It's not easy. Yeah, man, I miss the days when I used to date. I mean, it was never easy. I mean, the last semi-successful date I went on was a girl, I, I met her at the gym, amazing shape. I mean, she was the type of girl where CrossFit was her religion. You know what I'm talking about? So we go out to dinner, she orders appetizer, 16 ounce steak, chocolate malt dessert. She's like Guy Fieri at a Costco sample table, just mashing food in her face. I go, how do you eat like that and look that good? She's like, well, I knew we were going out, so I was good all week. Today's my cheat day. I'm like, sweet. So we go out drinking, dancing, back to my place for a little horizontal happiness or horizontal CrossFit, as it were. And uh, about 5 a.m., she starts getting dressed. I'm like, where are you going? She says, I have to go pick up my husband. I go, you're fucking married? She's like, yeah, I was good all year. Today's my cheat day. This is my dating life, guys. Yeah. So I'm not seeing her anymore, you know, till about uh, November 18th, guys, coming up. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's a new holiday in my life. Yeah. So like I said, I spent a lot of time at home. Uh, I masturbate a lot, to be honest with you. I have to be 100%, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's changed, though, you know? Um, I I'm at a point now where I've reached uh, league status, guys. League status. Put me in, coach, you know? I got my first sponsorship, Shake Week. Yeah, the money's rolling in, forearms are strong. But when I started out, everybody's got a phone, everybody's got like portable porn these days. When I started out masturbating, it was catalogs that came in the mail from my mom, you know? JC Penny, Sears catalog. Montgomery Warts, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, some of these guys know what I'm fucking talking about. This guy knows what I'm talking about right here. Without a doubt. Now I'm gonna stack next to the bed. I'm just shopping, Mom. Picking out Christmas presents. That's all I'm doing. You know? I remember one time I found this girl in a blue dress. Short skirt, low back, lacy. Oh. I spent a whole summer masturbating to that blue dress. Oh. First week of school, I come home from school, and my mom is wearing the blue dress. I don't know why I continue to masturbate to that blue dress, but therapy's going well. Even via Zoom, you know? You know what, it's going so well, in fact, I almost never wear that blue dress anymore. Right? Sometimes you just wanna feel pretty, though, you know what I'm talking about? This guy knows what I'm talking about. No, we're, we have, definitely have a, an excellent, fun show for you guys. We're, I, thank you guys for coming out during this, uh, this uh, I don't even know what to call it. I, I mean, it's a virus. It's a social disorder, I suppose you would call it. Um, I'm a bit of a sudden, so I love social distancing. This is right up my fucking alley, you know what I mean? But uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys, uh, before I get out of here, about my last girlfriend. It was a rough situation. Uh, she cheated on me. Yeah. It was rough, it scarred me, you know, it scarred me. I'm still, I still can't find that one, you know what I mean? And the, the hardest thing about it, we're in a weird business stand-up, she cheated on me with a fucking ventriloquist. I was cut cold by a grown man with a doll. Grown man, fucking doll. I like, I caught him in bed together, guys. And no amount of porn prepared me for that threesome. <laughs> Yeah, like the image is burned in my brain. She's elbow deep in that dummy, making it moan. Yeah, 
and the doll is in the corner watching. Yeah. And the hardest part about that, uh, you know, it wasn't the fact that she cheated on me, you know, it wasn't the fact that he was a ventriloquist, it was the fact that that doll was wearing the blue dress. It's rough, guys. It's my fucking DOA. All right, you guys have been too kind to me. My name is Jacob Blaze. I want to thank you all. We got so much more comedy coming your way.